Uh, he ran a flat ground. Um, I believe it was yesterday. Uh, so um, I think that went well. And what I'm hoping is that uh, we can get him into New York after the All-Star break. We'll leave him in, in uh, Arizona, I think, for the next four or five days and bring him to New York and, and uh, reassess him. But I think that was good news. Yeah. Try to get him in there on Thursday when you guys are back to work. Thursday, Friday. Just depends. If he's close to beginning baseball activity, um, we'll get him in. If he's not, then we may leave him uh, a few more days. But I, th I think that uh, maybe this weekend. Is it a feel uh, thing, or does he have to go for an MRI and see if the bruise is healing? It's more of a feel thing at this point. Uh, it's a question of how he's feeling and whether he can tolerate running. And, and uh, you know, based on what we've seen the last few days, we've been encouraged. There's no real precision here, as, as we've learned in a number of instances uh, already this season with respect to injuries. But, um, you know, I think we're very encouraged that he's he's been throwing bullpens and uh, has felt great immediately after and, and um, days after. So um, I think we're going to reevaluate where he is over the next uh, several days to try and get something more definitive, but uh, very encouraging with, with Johan as well. As I said, I think some people have been thinking of spring training as, say, March 1 to March 31, you know, actually pitching in games. Others have thought of it in terms of the six weeks, pitchers and catchers, etc. So, you know, we'll, we'll try to get a little more precise over the next uh, week or so. But, um, you know, as I said, I think a few days ago, we're not looking for Johan to ride in here and um, be a major factor in this season. Oh, Terry's done a great job. I think that's... Uh, evident from the record. Uh, I think it's evident in, 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 as far as uh, the way in which the team has exceeded some expectations. Um, and I think it's um, reflected in the way the team has played, not just the record um, and he exceeding expectations from a one loss perspective, but also the way the team has played. And I think, you know, we did talk at some point, I don't know when it was, spring training, before spring training, about how it was important for the team to establish some uh, credibility and a, a, uh, uh, a reputation for doing things the right way uh, and working hard and making an effort. And that's somewhat independent of the one loss record, although the one loss record shades anybody's impression. But I think on that basis as well, Terry's done a great job. The team's played hard. Um, you know, we've had our um, uh, personnel issues, but, um, you know, we're sitting here. We'll be over 500 at the break. Look, if we play the way we've played since we started 5-13, and 13, we'll be in good shape. Um, and uh, it would be nice to get some people back, but new people, even with great records and the, the guys that we've lost uh, are obviously big impact players in most cases. Um, you know, it doesn't mean the outcome is going to be any better than it was in the first half. So uh, I give all the credit to Terry and his staff and the players because um, I do think that the team has established a different kind of uh, persona among the fans and, uh, and maybe even the media. And, um, something we can build on. Sure, there's a way it could happen. Um, and, um, you know, there are various scenarios that could play out. So try not to, uh, my lawyer's fallback is not to not to uh, comment on a hypothetical. When, when you were doing, <laughs> I, I presume you have a board with the salary commitments year, year out, like 2012, 2013. Did you, when you were doing your projections for next year, was he on the board or was he, was that number not there? Um, actually, he was on the board, yeah. You said you know, you're not, you don't have to make any decisions on trades now. You may not that want board, to. by the way, is uh, erasable. <laughs> 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 Often in baseball, there's an alignment of interests. You know, player plays well, he makes himself more valuable to the team and ultimately to other teams as well. But, you know, we're not anxious to trade Carlos. He's been a key for us. And uh, um, so, um, you know, I'd love to say him see him stick around but uh, um, you know, he's he's played great and as a result you know he's he's valuable but he's valuable to us too for the same reason